Uh, something else you said was that, especially maybe with women, it's even harder. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about imposter syndrome? Maybe like, have you at one point had imposter syndrome? It does occur in men as well. Actually, uh, the latest studies I think show it, that it is just about equal. Interesting. But it seems to be more common in women because they talk about it, right? Or maybe right. it's more evident. So, but I think everyone feels like they're an imposter at some point in their life. What happens is that you start to doubt yourself, right? Like you think to yourself, geez, you know, yes, I'm a doctor. I have that MD or DO behind my name, but I don't belong here. Maybe they made a mistake. You know, maybe they didn't really mean to push me forward, but they did. And I, I don't belong here. And so then you start to doubt yourself. And the problem with that is then that leads to performance changes or it could lead to performance changes as well. And a lot of just self-doubt. And that's not a way, great way to live, right? You don't feel comfortable. And sometimes people can pick up on that or many times people can pick up on that. And they're, you know, as far as low self-esteem and people will take advantage of you. And again, you know, as far as saying no, uh, people can feed into that, right? They're just going to keep pushing you and pushing you because they see that you're already uncomfortable and they'll take advantage. So that's a problem. As far as, you know, what could you do? Um, again, probably some coaching, being surrounded by people who have been through what you've been through and continued on down the path and have gotten to the other side or at least have gotten through or at least more steps than you, right? They're a little further ahead. It doesn't have to be 100%, but they're a little further than you and they can help guide you. So, yeah, it's one of those things that if you don't talk about, if you don't explore, it probably will affect different areas of your life as well, not just your your career. And then what do you say to somebody who um, is maybe, you know, how would someone transition from the imposter syndrome to like realizing their own, is, is it their own self-value? Is that the thing? Is that... I think it's self-value, but I also think, you know, maybe starting small, you know, what is it that you think you can achieve or what do you think that it's you're not good at? And really, you know, why do you have those thoughts? Why do you have those feelings? And uh, what actions are you doing for it? Maybe setting some goals for yourself and setting small goals and seeing, kind of getting through that and just keep on building as you're doing coaching. And again, surrounding yourself with a community that is there for you and you feel supported. 